In this video, we're going to be looking at math created by MS Equation Editor in Microsoft Word. The most common way for professors to create math equations seems to be the Microsoft Editor. So if I was going to create a new equation, what we're talking about is clicking Insert, Equation, and then entering your equation. So I could enter one that's already there, or I can create my own. So that's the most common way to create math. Now there are several programs that are used by people who have disabilities when reading electronic documents, and in this case, math. So for people who have vision disabilities, more, most likely these are students or people who would be blind or very low vision. They would be using one of these two screen readers. One is called JAWS, and one is called Non-Visual Desktop Access, typically known as NVDA. Now JAWS, I'm not going to demonstrate because it's fully capable now to read math in Microsoft Word. However, I do want to bring to your attention that if you take math documents created in Word and you convert them into a PDF, they will not be able to be read by any software. So when you're distributing your documents, uh, please put them on Blackboard or your learning management system in perhaps both formats so that students with disabilities can have equal access. So once again, we're not going to talk about JAWS and NVDA is actually a free piece of software. We're going to take a look at how NVDA deals with this math. So I'm just going to open it. I have it right here. And I'm going to use the down arrow to read this. Equals two. Two. Equals minus plus or minus two minus four two. Two plus two equals two. So you can see that math created in Microsoft Equation Editor isn't going to be very helpful for people who use NVDA. So if you have a student who is blind in your class, um, it's really important for you to know what screen reader they're using. There is a program called MathType, and with MathType, if it's installed into Microsoft Word, it allows students to use the screen readers and have the math read to them appropriately. Um, if you are part of a post-secondary institution, you can contact your accessibility or AODA department, and I'm sure they'll be able to uh, point you in the right direction. Next, we're going to talk about tools that people who have cognitive disabilities, like dyslexia, where letters reverse and numbers reverse. Uh, sometimes they move on the screen. These are two programs that we help students use at the college. Both of these um, are good programs, but the Microsoft Read Aloud only works in Microsoft and Read and Write works in all programs. Now the programs we see here are not all of the programs that are available, but ones that we use at the college. So Read and Write is a tool that I install on almost every student's computer who has a reading disability, and I'm going to show you how it reads these equations. Equations made with Ms. Equation Editor. So you can see it simply doesn't. Now this other tool called MS Read Aloud, it will read math. Now Read and Write is the superior program in that it will read really, really well. The voices are better. Uh, however, it doesn't read math. So if you are a teacher who's teaching math and you see a student who has a cognitive disability or gives you a letter of accommodation, just maybe in class point the uh, read aloud tool out. It can help all kinds of people because the language of math is a special language and hearing it can help. So if I click on here and write in review, I have this tool here called read aloud and I'm going to show you how it reads the sentence as well as the math. Equations made with MS Equation Editor. A equals pi r squared. A squared plus b squared equals c squared. x equals numerator minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and square root 
and numerator over 2a. So that is pretty good. Um, and again, it's pretty easy to get to, review, read aloud, or you can create a shortcut just by clicking on this little button here and clicking uh, read aloud. So it's not there. I click it again. It's there. And anything I want to read, I can just click and it'll read it to me out loud. PDF documents contain. I can even control it over here. I can change the voices. I can change the speed. I can make it PDF back. documents containing math are not accessible. Tools used by people with. So it's a pretty cool tool. And, um, I highly recommend if you're a math teacher, point this out to your whole class because it's pretty fantastic.